Let's Play Terraria. Well, I'm playing on a special day because, well, this is it's days after the 1.0.1 .1 update launched. Last time, I showed you some digging and I, I mean, some deaths of those fucking zombies. Now I'm going to do some exploration. Mission. Basically, the game's more exploration heavy than survival heavy. And I'm not talking about the heavy weapons guy kind of heavy. The gameplay wise. You see, unlike Minecraft, which is a, which is a thing Terraria's main competitor. Shit, why am I lagging so much? Why am I lagging so goddamn much? It's not even funny. I am not going to put this project off. I am not going to put this project off. Even though I have an exam. Even though I have an exam coming, I will not put this project off. Unless I need to study. I did some exploration here before, trying to get it on tape, but do some uh, uh, mind blanks. No, that's not a type of puzzle. So I actually did not know what the hell I was supposed to do around what I was doing. Wait. <coughs> I decided to stop the video and not include it. Oh, I forgot one thing. Some of the zombies look different. Why did I place two torches? Some of the zombies... What the hell? What the hell did all these zombies come from? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, where did all these fucking zombies come from? Oh, because I'm playing... It was at night. Now after finding Twilight Prince 1, 2, 3 playing this game, I thought he's going to probably finish his... Uh, he's probably going to get more views on his LP than mine. So instead of being, being a quitter and deciding to abandon his project like a sinking ship, I decided to continue this project. Now you might know some... What the hell? I thought I killed him. Oh, it's just a critical hit. Fucking eyeballs and zombies. Also, I uh, built some new houses. This is not got two new people, but that was off screen. Because I showed you how to build a house, the basic guide. But the one interesting thing about the 1.0, not 1.0, the 1.1 update, there's a housing query. Basically, it'll show you if your house is suitable enough for someone to live in, and you're an asshole, Demon Knight, I'm not even gonna fucking bother with you anymore. No, this video is way behind schedule. <clears throat> Only, oh, but no, noticing this weird ass structure over there. I said weird ass structure because that's my. You might be thinking, my thinking. What the hell is this weird ass structure? That is a demon altar. Demon altars are used to summon, mm, to create items to summon boss monsters. There are boss monsters here. Monsters here. Monsters here. Sometimes there are other, there are more than one way to summon a boss monster. And that's true. Sometimes you need to be in the right place, but in other cases you have to smash the wrong thing. You might wonder why I have those bombs. Well, these bombs would be very fucking useful to me. Let's say you don't want to dig anymore. Well, this looks like a shitty place to do it. So we're going to continue digging. Okay. You just throw one, plop one of these bombs into the area. Now they're, they're actually. Oh, I thought I fell to my death. This looks like a good place to put a bomb. If I can get in there. Basically, here's what you do. You put it, select the bomb, you throw it, and run like hell! You know, the, the bomb's explosion radius depends on what kind of bomb it is. And some bombs can destroy certain items. Grenades can't destroy any blocks. 
Yeah, the three bombs are grenades. They can't destroy anything. Round bombs, which can destroy some material, but not all material. Did you hear how the music changed? Well, I just got to the underground. And now I'm not talking about the subways. The subways in Britain. And, and oh, it killed all three of them. See, the bombs are very destructive. Can't see for shit in this fucking place. Well, I am swearing a lot. Well, that's my own thing. But what I found here is a life crystal. Basically, you... Oh, shit. Forgot. Be careful. Do not use items when, if you don't know what the hell's coming at. will come after you. Because you'll run into nasty enemies. The enemies you'll run into in the underground parts are skeletons. What the hell? Who's living underground? Who's living underground? Besides a terrorist. But back to the randomness. There you are, you little slimy prick. Now these worms are annoying as fuck. Because sometimes you hear them coming. But you can't tell where the little bastards are going to come from. You can't tell where the little bastards are coming from until it's too late. You can't hear the little bastards. And I killed the little bastard. Actually, I'm going to put my old dirt blocks back up. Because I want to get that. I want to get those the copper ore. Copper! Right now, sorry if it went quiet for a moment, but I thought I heard a worm. And this might not be posted today uh, on December 5th, 2010, and what the fuck was that? The hell? What's killing that slime up there? Why am I, wait, why am I? Hope that's not another enemy. Hope that's not a new enemy down here, otherwise I'm screwed. Fire in the asshole! Sometimes bombs can be your best friend and... Holy shit! I got a lot of cool... Well, this looks like someone's living under here. Well, well, here's one thing I have to say. I hate... I'd hate to be the guy that's living here. I'd hate to be the guy. I hate to find the guy that's living here. Jesus fucking Christ, I can't speak correctly. And here's a very good item. Unfortunately, I do not have the. Right. Come on. Let me drop the seeds. Unfortunately, I do not have any mana. This item is called a magic mirror. It uses 20 mana. Then return you home. Oh shit! I did not mean to drop my wooden sword. I did not mean to do that. I am so fucking stupid. I did not. Let's get rid of this. Consume my hunter potion. There's some special potions in here that will enable you to find uh, certain items. Items. I did not see that pit. I did not see that pit. I did not see that pit. And I died because of that. No, that's not the area. No. I'm back here and I'm so fucking stupid. I am going the wrong way. You see, those items like burned down there were cobwebs. If you get caught in a cobweb, you'll slowly sink down a little bit. But if the cobweb gets destroyed, you'll just fall. And if you're unfortunately like me, you'll fall ungraciously to your death. Okay. Fuck you. Not you. Let's see if I have enough to smelt any armor. 
Oh, there's some weird items you can make here. You can make toilets. So I think that was in the... I forgot what update it was. The 1.0.6 update. You can make toilets. toilets but... I would... I wouldn't advise I wouldn't advise on that because that sounds like a really crappy idea. The delivery of that joke was sucky as fuck. But who cares? I'm actually gonna end the video by building another house. Because last time I think I tried to end one of my parts or start one of my parts building a house and Jesus fucking Christ. Sorry if I'm swearing a lot, but still, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna, my battery's gonna die in a moment. This is my phone, not phone battery, my iPod touch dot battery's gonna die in a moment. And I think this, why can't I jump? Why can I not jump? Correction, why can I not talk? Mostly, why can't I not jump? This will be a good place to build a house. Basically, the formula for building a good house, like, Forgot the dimensions of that, the house should be. But basically, the rule of thumb, well, in my opinion, the rule of dumb, I like to call it, because it's a stupid idea if you do not listen to this. Basically, the rule of thumb works like this. Hey, there's a bird in my house. What do you mean there's a bird? Sorry. Had to do that Tourette's guy joke. I had to do that Tourette's guy joke. Okay, it was that too. Uh, it was that too good. It was it was too good not to pass up that joke. Shit, I do not know where I supposed to put my. Oh, I do not have enough room. Damn it. Let's see. First, let's. No, no, no. Let's actually combine these. Toss this beam out of here. Fuck you, beam. A bit. Jesus Christ, this is a clusterfuck. This part's gonna end the... Oh no, my... My phone... Not iPhone. iPod touches battery's gonna die in a moment. And I can't jump for shit. I cannot jump for shit. And my battery's gonna die if I keep talking. Let's put up a stone wall, another stone wall. There's a more of it than the wooden wall. But I think I remember there, I don't know if this is a rumor or not, but the next, one of the other NPCs, the Dryad, and she's a bitch to get, no pun intended. No sexist pun intended, and... Yeah, sorry. I can't talk, because I'm a little stressed out, because I have an exam next week. And college is ending. Thank fucking God. Oops. That's better. Let's get down here. Now let's put in this golden treasure chest. It's always good to have these treasure chests around. Not because it looks good. Actually, I'm going to build a crafting table. Oh, and there's a good item you can build here with the bombs. If you combine gel with bombs, you can make sticky bombs. The only difference between sticky bombs and regular bombs is this. With sticky bombs, or with regular bombs, oops, wrong way, fuck. Now let's check out the housing quarry. You just click on this house, you click on this, if it, it says this housing is suitable, that means someone can live in it. We'll just have to wait for a moment. Wait for a moment. Mint. Why do I have shurikens? Why do I have shurikens? Let's wait for a moment. You know what? Screw it. But basically, when you wait, either wait or fulfill certain conditions, you'll see a message in blue on the lower right hand, not lower right, lower left hand side of the a game screen saying a certain NPC has arrived. If you, I'll just tell you what is required for uh, certain houses in 
the next episode of Let's Play Terraria. So until then, see ya.